Good morning, everyone. I'm glad to introduce our work, Winning Checker, a new model for real-time winning prediction in mobile games. I'd like to introduce our work from five parts. The background, the preliminaries, method, completion, and application. Let's go into the background. With the increasing popularity, mobile games where two opposing teams compete against each other have played a major role in sports tournament. Among game analysts, real-time winning prediction is an important but challenging problem, which is mainly due to the complicated coupling of the overall competition, the excessive noise of players' movement, and unclear optimization goals. Therefore, we designed a unified framework, namely Winning Checker, for solving this problem. Let us explain the three challenges in detail. Firstly, the overall confrontation is hard to be accurate characterized it, different from pre-match prediction. Real-time sensory needs to check the overall confrontation during the game for prediction. However, the coupling of the game date, the diversity of the game events, and the excessive noise of the player behaviors brings difficulties to characterize the overall confrontation from a comprehensive perspective. Secondly, the individual's movement is not well plot. Why movement is precisely one of the most important operations in mobile games. On the one hand, the coordinate at a time point cannot capture the directionality and temporality of the player's movement. On the other hand, the irregularity and complexity of player's movement make it difficult to use fixed patterns for effective characterization. Thirdly, there is no clear and unified optimization goal for real-time winning prediction. It is inappropriate to directly use the final result as the optimization goal, which ignores the possibility of inconsistency from uh, short-term predictions and game results. Take a battle, for example. One side, sub team A, may start with a high moral and gain huge advantages while they unfortunately lose the game due to the misoperation of one key midterm combat. Consideration, considering the winning prediction is a key issue in game analysis, which can be divided into two paradigms, the pre-match winning prediction and the real-time winning prediction. Most studies put insights on pre-match predictions, but a few studies focus on real-time prediction scenarios. Static related research only uses pre-match information and lacks effective perception of dynamic information during the game. Time point related work just divides the time series into static states of multi-time slices and make predictions, which lead to a coarse green competition state extraction, and thus not practical for performance evaluation. This paper focuses on real-time winning prediction. We make a significant effort to solve this problem by considering the due perception of the overall confrontation and the individual's movement. The second part is preliminaries. We use a data set from a popular mobile game released by a well-known game company. In total, we have recorded more than 10 million game logs, which included tens of thousands of matches. Uh, the detailed log fields are shown in Table 1. Several data processing methods have been applied, such as one-hot encoding of categorical variable, normalization of numerable variables, and filtering matches with abnormal state. We now introduce the main technicals we use spatial temporal mining, and multitask learning. With the rapid development of various technologies such as global positioning systems, mobile devices, and remote sensoring, spatial temporal data have been widely mined for many real applications. Data examples of spatial temporal data include events, chart arrays, time series, spatial maps, and spatial temporal resources. For the five types of spatial temporal data instances, Four types of data representation are commonly used to facilitate processing by various deep learning models. Multitask learning is an approach to improve generalization by using the domain information contained in the training signals of related tasks as an inductive bias. It does this by learning tasks in parallel while using a shared representation, which is learned for each task can help other tasks learn better. Okay, let's move into the method part. Figure 2 illustrates the overall architecture of our proposed winning checker. Specifically, win winning checker includes three main modules, the confrontation representation extractor, the movement representation extractor, 
and the multitask and forecasting module. In confrontation representation extractor, we process log data into images according to the semantics of offense and defense, as constructed extractors from both perspectives to capture overall confrontation. In movement representation extractor, we notably divide the game into different zones and use the zones embedding to represent the player's movement. In addition, we also design a novel hierarchy attention mechanism in this module to capture team level strategies. In multitask forecasting module, the pre match information is embedded in a linear form and fused with the embedding of the above two modules to predict short term and long term goals in parallel. Now, let's look at our modules in more detail. Since the mobile games regard destroying the enemy's main buildings as a scenery condition of the victory to capture the offensive situation, we process the data of the enemy tower's remaining hit points and the own player's remaining hit points in the form of images as shown in Figure 2 to extract independent defense on both sides. We also draw the targeted data into images and use the LE net as a backbone to extract defense representation as shown in Figure 3. Uh, intuitively, the fans and the one team will conflict with each other. Therefore, we carry out a hardware product to capture the confrontation situation on both sides. We divide the battlefield into different zones according to um, N.M grid, as shown in Figure 4, and coded the zones. Then, we use the sequence of zones of the player passes through during the time window to represent the player's trajectory. When we obtain the movement embedding of all players, we develop a novel hierarchy attention mechanism to extract team level strategies as shown in Figure 4. In this paper, we simplify, simplify the short-term goal to whether any tower is destroyed in the next time window. On the one hand, this is in line with the goal of the mobile game, which is to destroy the, next, the opponent's main buildings. On the other hand, we turn this question into if the game ends at the next moment, which team will win? Notice that there is no short-term goal for the last sliding window. We treat it as a multitask learning task. Not destroy, destroy, and the last window. The long-term goal is the match result. We assume that there is no draw. It is a binary classification task. We compare our winning checker with the following state of art baselines. We have fine-trained all the following benchmarks to achieve the best performance. Figure 2 shows the performance of our model comparing to other baselines. Obviously, the proposed winning checker is superior to all baselines in any metrics, proving the effectiveness of our framework. To test the robustness of a winning checker, we launch the parameter sensitive analysis. According to the figure, we can get the following observations. Firstly, our model is robust to short term goals. Different parameters will only impact the speed of convergence and will now change the final prediction effect. For long term goal, our algorithm achieves the best result when lambda equal 0.6. Secondly, the best performance on long term goal when the window size is 7. Thirdly, the CNN kernel size determines the granularity of the representation which will have a great impact on the convergence and performance of the model. To evaluate the effect of a design, we eliminate or replace the sub-modules in winning checker for fairness, except for the specified ablation module. Other settings are kept the same. We can conclude from the figure 8 that for the short-term tasks, the ablation of the sub-modules does not have a great impact. It can be seen from the figure 8 8 and uh, table 3 that different submodules play an irreplaceable role in end state prediction. Our module have all achieved the best results, which fully de demonstrated the effectiveness of our model design. In the deployment phase, we developed two commercial applications, the key event detection and player value evaluation from the perspective of confrontation and the individual's movements respectively, as shown in figure 9. We consider the event that causes a large fluctuation in the win rate to be a key event, inspired by the use of passing value to measure the main contribution of athletes in football match. For player value evaluation, we measure it from the perspective of movement value. 
It can be concluded from the figure 9 that the influence of the player's movement on match result is significantly different. Furthermore, we show the contribution of all players in each slide window of the match in the form of a heat map, as shown in figure 10. From the perspective of play co columns, we can analyze the participation of all players in a sliding window. We compare the player's movement score with the player's actual score, as shown in Table 4. Obviously, the ranking of B and C have changed. This is mainly because the traditional method focuses on the behavior that are directly related to the match result, such as killing or destroying the towers, while our method provides the possibility to mirror the player values from another objective perspective, that is, movement. We also release our code in the GitHub. Everyone can discuss with us. That's all. Thank you.